Hey, hello, what's up? Welcome to the video. So here is Tasia and in this video tutorial I'll be teaching you how to compress the size of a video file without losing its quality. So in this video tutorial we are going to use a software named Handbrake. Now this is a very very great software using which you can compress the size of a video file without actually losing the quality of the video. So let's get started. First off, you gotta download the software. Um, here is the link to download the software, handbrake.fr slash downloads.php. And I'll put this link in the description, so go check the description. So here you will see all the download links, so simply select your operating system and download. So I'll be downloading the 32-bit version because my system is compatible with the 32-bit. So just click on the download link and the download should start right away. I'm not going to download it now because uh, um, if you notice here, I have the file already on my computer. So it's very easy to install this software. Just download, just download it, and once the download is done, just click on the downloaded file, and then an installer comes up, and then click on next, 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 finish. That's it. That's it. Yes, it's very easy to install this. So you can install it by following the on-screen instructions. So once you install this software, just open the software. So here is the nice piece of software. Now you gotta click on the button which says sources and then select a uh, file. Now you need to locate the video file which you wanna compress. So I'm going to do it with this sample video. Um, this video you'll be getting when you install Windows operating system. So anyway, I'm gonna use it. Uh, I'm gonna do it with this uh, uh, sample thing, sample video. So if you could see here, its size is 25 MB. So keep this number in mind because after I compress this video file, you're gonna see the change in its size. So keep the number 25 MB in your mind. Fix it, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna open this and once you locate your video file you gotta give it a destination just click on the browse button and then you give it a destination um, I'll be doing it here in my sample videos and give it a, a name uh, like I'll give it compressed so finally click on the save button and uh, the next thing you got to do is uh, right here in the output settings you got to check mark this web optimized so just check mark this web optimized and then here go to the video tab and then you will see the quality uh, setting there. Now just select average bitrate and then you will you will see two options under it, two uh, check boxes under it. So just check both of them. Just check turbo first pass and two pass encoding. Just check both of both of them and then you go to the audio tab and here you got to give the bitrate as 128 so just select that and select 128 from the drop down menu this 128 is a recommended bitrate so that's it uh, that is all the changes uh, you got to make to the settings now once you have uh, done making the changes to the settings just click on the star button over here just click on the start button and yes it, it's going to take some time and yes guess what you got to be patient so as you can see here the process is finished and it says QQ finished okay now let's go and check the size of the compressed video file so here is the compressed video size video file and let me uh, check the size and here we go 4.10 MB Remember the size of the original video file? Yes, it's 25 MB and the size of the compressed video file is 4.10 MB. So I compressed this video file from 25 MB to 4.10 MB. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Yes, it is. Now let me check the quality of the uh, compressed video file. So this is the quality of the compressed video file. I don't think it, you know, I don't think uh, that it, it lost any quality. Like it has, it got the same quality as, as that of the original video file. Like let me show you the original video file. This is the original video file. Let me play the original video file. 
So as you could see, the it, it, it has the same quality as that of the compressed video file, right? You can check it. Both have the same quality. The only difference is the size. It is 25 MB and the compressed video file is 4.10 MB. So in such a way, you can easily compress the size of a video file without losing its quality. Now this is a very easy and cool trick. So if you find this video helpful, then come on man, subscribe to me for more videos. And if you are unaware, then please keep in mind that I am giving an intro, I'm conducting an intro giveaway offer on my website. So you can go to my website uh, techroj156.com and you can get your free professional intro. You can win a free professional intro. So just go to my website techroj156.com. You choose from the list of intros in my website and then you submit the form. You submit uh, the form and I'll receive that form and you will be hearing with uh, from me within 24 to 48 hours. Maybe early, maybe late depends on my uh my schedule well um keep it aside okay and also please do like my facebook page at facebook.com slash techgarage156 and and also uh you can feel free to email me at anonymoushacker156 at the way it's email.com you can email me uh, for new tutorials or any queries or anything so that's it thanks for watching cheers